breaking news signing Leonard Floyd. How, how did you feel about this signing um, formerly with the Bills, but then prior to that, won a Super Bowl with the Rams, uh, did really well against the 49ers. But first, let's get a, let's get your takeaway. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would have put Leonard Floyd as one of the maybe like second tier, but top of the second tier uh, pass rushers available for the 49ers. I think uh, he would probably... Uh, be a situational pass rusher for the 49ers. And I would even say, like, I don't think this uh, this means the 49ers are done at edge. Like, I don't think this is their premier edge rushing mm. signing uh, to be okay. opposite Nick Bosa. Like, I, I would expect Floyd to be a rotational guy, and it's a, he's a really good rotational guy for the 49ers, or he – I, I would expect him to be. I mean, he, that's kind of the role he played uh, with the Bills. Um, and then prior to that, uh, he was an every down player with the Rams. And, of mm -hmm. course, the Brandon Staley connection exactly. is there. So that was his best season, actually. Um, but I think the 49ers don't need to put all their eggs in the uh, Leonard Floyd uh, basket. basket. And I think that'll just keep him probably more effective as well. So, um yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not mad at the signing. Like I said, I don't think the 49ers are done. You have Daniel Hunter who's still out there, and I I still expect the 49ers to be in play for him as well. You know, my really? expectation. Okay. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm just kind of. I don't think they're done. That's that's what I want to say is that I don't think they're done. Uh, we heard earlier uh, this morning that the 49ers were in on Christian Wilkins, who was the top defensive tackle, uh, you know, that was available in free agency. So they're going big fish hunting, I think, in free agency. They're, they've been quiet, right? But there's still some big names out there for them. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I would still expect that to be in play just because I don't think the 49ers are messing around. I definitely don't think so either. Really quickly, I just had to read this one off. Love Steph, but can she do a Bo Joey Bosa impersonation? We'll definitely get to the Bosa uh, talk in a little bit. But just a little bit more about Leonard Floyd for people who don't know. Um, this is just some, this is from David Lamarty. But he says uh, Floyd is 6'5", 240 pounds with a quick first step, good bend, and explosive. He has almost 40 sacks in the last four seasons with 39.5 sacks in four seasons and is one of three players with nine plus sacks in those four in the last four straight seasons. So that means he's had nine sacks in in four seasons in a row which is really good joining miles garrett and hassan reddick so that sounds exciting now i was a little bit confused and maybe you can clarify there's some people in the comments that said you know uh enjoy free agency responsibly i i screenshotted something it was from the real matt mayoko but he said the 49ers have turned in no transactions to the legal office today um is that just because I know, right? Why, why, Wednesday, or why is that? What, why, that came why out after the little, out, right? Little... Like, he left this in suspense there. No, he did follow that tweet up by saying that, uh, 49ers and Leonard Floyd have reached an agreement on a two year deal. <laughs> uh, and he said the earliest the deal can become official is Wednesday when the free agent signing period opens. So, I mean, so he was just messing with us. We've seen some crazy things happen, like, you know, in free agency where a player agrees to sign with a team, but then they back out of it, right? So yeah. it's still possible that can happen in this case, but as of right now, he's he's agreed to sign with the 49ers, so. Okay, that makes sense. And I, I did want to, because I like, I think 49ers, they, um, they seem to take a liking to players that did well against them. So Floyd's last game in, versus the 49ers was in 2002. He had nine tackles, two sacks, three QB hits, and two tackles for loss against the 49ers. So we can see why maybe John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan had a liking for him. Additionally, like you said, his best year being with Brandon Staley and Staley joining the 49ers uh, staff. So I think 
it definitely does also make a big deal when you play ag well against the team and they see that potential and maybe think that they can bring more of that out of you. Um, and then Rich Madrid, who I always feel like is good, he kind of pointed out what you said and said Floyd was an every down player for the Rams, uh, but only basically a pass rush special, a pass rush specialist, say that five times fast, for the Bills coming in on second and third and long, but not sure that he's something the 49ers, someone the 49ers would want to make. And every down player, he's not very good versus the run. So some interesting, um, seems like a really good player, but I agree with you, maybe not, because I've heard some people maybe saying they're a bit underwhelmed. Um, my initial reaction was I thought it was a really good player, really good price for a good player. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I know John Lynch uh, did come out and I think it was Mike Silver also came out and talked about the 49ers making a big signing. So if there was an opportunity to get a guy like Daniil Hunter, potentially they still would go after someone like him and really secure up that, that spot. I would hope I, I will say I like the Leonard Floyd, and I, I know we'll get in. We can maybe talk about him a little bit. But I heard a lot of the Joey Bosa rumors. I went on Instagram, saw saw Nick and Joey Bosa's mom posting mm -hmm. pictures of Joey Bosa in a 49ers uniform, uh, posting pictures of Nick and Joey together, talking about how she'd love for their her sons to play on the same team, all of that. Um, you know, which of course I think any mom would. But I think that that definitely created some uh, spark in the fan base. I, I know nothing about Joey as a person. Sure, he's a great person. The My problems was Joey Bosa has struggled with injury a ton. And he's outwardly criticized Brandon Staley pretty uh, strongly. So I didn't really understand that signing. So I'm not saying it's this or that. But if it was something where it's Leonard Floyd above Joey Bosa, I think I would prefer a guy like Leonard Leonard Floyd but yeah the the know. value I think that Leonard Floyd brings that not a lot of people are are really you know the people who are kind of disappointed by this signing aren't looking at is is the fact that he's been pretty durable in his career so that's definitely a huge plus for the 49ers yeah. they've had you know, the guys that they have tried to plug in at times at that spot opposite Nick Bosa has ended up, you know, with injury. We had uh, Drake Jackson, uh, Clinton Farrell late in the season uh, with an injury. So a guy who's going to be durable and hopefully be healthy most, if not all season, I think is great value, especially for the price that you're paying. And as you mentioned, Ashley, just the fact that you know, he's been pretty consistent as well, like having nine mm -hmm. sacks um, for the last few seasons, that's pretty difficult to do. And only a few players <laughs> have, have achieved giving that. Giving a guy like that rockers. to Chris Kosarek is also, yeah, you know, exciting. Obviously, you know, that doesn't mean everything, but I do feel like the 49ers, if we think about, you know, bringing a guy like Charles Amenahu or some someone in, like they have success a lot of times with bringing out the best in players. And this, this guy is already, in my opinion, a step above maybe – where guys like that are starting. So if they could kind of bring out more consistency or not more like more consistency within his play, obviously him being consistent on the field is going to be the most important. And the way that you really practice that when, when we talk about guys like, you know, uh, Javon Kinlaw, I think a lot of what we've talked about is just like, he hasn't had enough time on the field to really um, implement everything that he's learning and to practice it over and over again. And, um, stuff like that. Now, obviously, um, obviously he's a little bit older, but it was it was only a two year yeah. deal, right? Yeah, it was only yeah, a two year deal. A, I don't know. I think it was great for the 49ers, year. like value wise, when you're seeing um some of these guys getting 110, 100, 100 million dollar uh deal. I know that you know Christian Wilkins better, you know, different caliber player, but still that's a ton of money. Um, 